I think uh, I think we just run it, man. Just just run that shit. Everybody know what this is. This is the Neo Digital Podcast. I'm your homie Jolly Dangerous with the co-host. My name is Danani YouTube. What's going on? Yo, and this is the PS5 Gaming Show 2020. Let's see what's about. <laughs> Okay. What's Wait, that did you start halfway through? Or is that, is that the very beginning? That's the very beginning. They had like an hour of just nothing. An hour okay. of stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Really cool logo. What's the what, what's that sci-fi movie with the monolith? 2001 mm. Space Odyssey? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear the sound and everything? Mm-hmm. Okay. Longest logo ever. Ah, uh, is it gonna do all of them? <laughs> the triangle. Like, the like square, why don't they bring the back the um? Like, did you have a regular PlayStation? Like PlayStation, uh, PlayStation One. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You remember the the PlayStation, the little thing where like, it makes the little yep. thing. Like, well, yep. bring that back. <laughs> They always try this new shit. You already you started out with like the greatest intro ever. Yeah, this shit. I mean, that's all you need all right you there. Different choices. How we might have ended up. No, I like the hand we've been dealt. Oh, when God of War was good. <laughs> Is this going to showcase games too, or is it just like the PlayStation? It should, no, it's going to do games. Oh, okay, cool. I wasn't even expecting that. All the stuff that's going to be coming out on PlayStation and the mm -hmm. exclusives. Okay. That's this is up. this is their answer to just not doing E3 because like, why do E3 when you can just do it yourself? Destined for something great. Mm, I want to play that game so bad. What the samurai game, Ghost of Tsushima? Why did I move here? Yes. I guess yeah, me too. The or the ah, I don't know that thing. That BK Pop. Yeah. Don't nobody care about this, man. I'm trying to get out of this bullshit. Uh, I mean, well, it is showcasing PS4. It's every day. Well, but yeah, it's just like okay, it's probably GTA on PS5. It's like. But that's the kicking out Skyrim again. It's like, come on, man. That and um, we should talk. When it hits on PS5, I, I was hearing that you can get if you log in, mm -hmm. you're gonna hit a million dollars every day until mm -hmm. the release date. We all love banks. Well, um, I can get a million dollars every ten minutes in that game. I know, right? <laughs> so, ha hashtag Bogdan. <laughs> Give me a hand with these bodies. I will say this though, the story was so damn good. This cannot be traced yeah. back to me. Champagne, anyone? Oh, that guy was Man, hilarious. I haven't, I haven't played in a while. Just sort of smash things. We need, we need to jump on one day, experience all the new stuff that uh, you've been missing out on. Man, I haven't. I haven't played since since they added heist. <laughs> remember how long ago that was when like you me Lori and like yeah that was the first one. Tried, uh, yeah, Pacific Standard, I think is what it was. Yup, and then I stopped. Yeah, they have like four or five of them now. Jeez. <laughs> and a casino. <laughs> oh, look at that sexy controller, man. Uh, we already got it for free. Thank you, Epic Game Store. Kind of late. You know? Oh, free on PlayStation. Yeah, so probably if you, I would assume if you pre-order that or PS5, you know, you get a million every day, maybe they probably count it like that. Now that would be worth it. You get a million dollars every day. Mm-hmm. Well, no, no, that's current. You get a million dollars every day up until launch. If even if you have it now, 
Oh, okay. So no you don't got to pre-order the new game. It's just you just get nope. it. That's what's up. Okay. Yep. It was great to kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5, but today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years, when we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're gonna have the games do our talking. Captured from the PlayStation 5 system. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> Captured hmm. then re-rendered from the PlayStation 5 systems. A this looks cool. Someone who doesn't give up. Yeah, you know what this is. Your dad said that. Infamous? Mm -mm. Right. Bringing back whole McGrath or whatever his name was? Mm -mm. Now it's oh, that black man. Go be a hero. Yeah. Okay, so they're gonna jump to him. Is this a follow up to the last one? The last Spider Man game? Let's do Ship. It. Hopefully. Yeah, because that game was leading, leading right into it, so. Oh. Man, they make Another Spider Man game. games look sexy, man. Another game I didn't play. That game was great. They did they did their own thing, essentially. Dang. Miles is kinda so whiny good. though, but yeah, that do look good though. Holiday twenty twenty. Okay, so you know what? I think that's good. I think that's going to be DLC. えっと、今日は皆さんにプラス作っているmaybe they're introducing some kind of a uh, well i mean i have the current one but I, I i i'm not a car person like that so i haven't played it but maybe they got some kind of race character mode like the other racing car games have mm. maybe you're a driver trying to rank up in the the grand prix and stuff maybe look at all that money i am be honest with you I've, I've never been a fan of the grand turismo series and the only reason I haven't been a fan of it is because there's no reactive damage. Yeah. I want to be able to like crash that car and then wheels fly off and like pieces fly off. Yeah. Well, you know why so they do that, right? No. It's, I think it has something to do with like the manufacturers because cause Gran Turismo is a simulator, essentially. Uh -huh. So you, if you get the different car manufacturers, you get their cars in the game. So a lot of times when they do movies, it's the same way. You get the cars in your movie, but they don't want to show them getting messed up because it's their brand, essentially. But, oh. you know, it could be something like that. Shoot, Aston Martin don't care. They they blew up that shit so many times in, in the Bond <laughs> movies. Hell yeah. But one thing I will say about uh, Gran Turismo, like I've always been a fan of them, what, since like high school when the series first came out for me. Mm -hmm. But um, they will make the whole car look authentic in engine down to like the smallest yeah. detail. Like those Japanese dudes, like they do that damn thing. Yeah. I just I just want to see the detail as it's coming off of the car as I'm running into other players like. Yeah. I, I feel like back in high school, it, it, you were one of two people. You were a Gran Turismo fan or you were a Burnout fan. And I was definitely a Burnout mm -hmm. fan. I yeah, I think like, when I was coming up, up it was a uh, Need for Speed or, or, or Gran Turismo. 
Oh yeah. Uh, I couldn't stand I Need think, for Speed. I um, think one the one thing I hated about this though with the new game, well not the new one, mm -hmm. but I guess the current Gran Turismo. They they encourage you not to crash. Cause like they don't want it to be like a, a race car game where you're crashing into the other players and stuff like that. They yeah. want you to, to legit race, and that's what I hate about it. They kind of, yeah, it's like some kind of a, um, uh, some kind of a system in place where like you can get reported if you crash your car into the into other people's intentionally over and over again. But oh, it's like okay. they put certain things in place to fight against them, and that's what I hate. Like let me have fun. If it's a game, let me play it how how I want to play. It. What is this? Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Bringing it back. Right back. That's what's up. No way. That's a franchise that I've never played. Like I, I played like the first one. The dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot. Turtle was fun though. Get to right the ship. I mean, we can't be that far. They have found us, Ratchet. How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. Mm. <laughs> I always like their banter back and forth as you're playing. Mm -hmm. The dimensions are weakening considerably. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank going to the mirror dimension and whatnot. Ooh, tell Doctor so Strange good. influenced this. Well, it is certainly not good. Right. Oh, that's what's up. They went. They, they went into Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> they went into the Blade Runner universe. That would be cool. Like if they went into the other video games in their franchise library. Yes. <laughs> They jump through and they're like, boy, and then they, they, they mm -hmm. jump. <laughs> Saw Kratos and shit. What, what magic is this? <laughs> oh, are they going to get separated and you can play them like. We are too late. Ratchet. Uh, oh. Who? Word. Uh oh. Gender swapping. Yup. Rift apart. Yeah, like Marvel yeah, did exactly. that too. Gender swapping, <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey guys, you're a girl now. Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Synchronized a water drinking. Full length interdimensional <laughs> adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able to do before like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly, or put ray trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the DualSense controller's enhanced feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. I went on that like meeting today mm -hmm. and I was trying to meet that meet up this chick I went to this coffee place and uh, the c cafe ladies got excited and I, it caught my eye because they started like turn on a TV and mm -hmm. this was on right the ranch and plant gameplay and I'm like oh <laughs> I, I was trying so hard to focus on her but I kept looking at the screen like literally want to stand over there right now and just like cross my arms and look at it you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> Heroes. Yo, this looks, this looks gorgeous, man. Yeah, it Look, does. You see reflection on the floor? Mm-hmm. That looks so Probably good. that ray tracing, man. And that's the thing. It's like, this is actual gameplay. Yeah. This looks damn good. It looks like it's gonna be easy, but I guess you know. I guess that's par for the course. Looks nah, fun, you can you can make it difficult. Like it's I've played a, a, a few Ratchet and Clanks, and uh, the difficulty comes in where you have to. There's a lot to dodge on the screen. 
Yeah, because wasn't this the franchise that had like all the different guns and stuff you could use and equipment change mm -hmm. like Ratchet into? Yep. Well, you weren't changing Ratchet into anything, but Ratchet was helping you make weapons. Oh, okay. Oh, that little scorpion whip move is pretty cool. I know. So it looks like that's what he's doing. Like, so when you see that pop up, you can actually go through it and go into another dimension. Hmm. Did the layout change in any in any way, or is it like the same level just with a different theme when he goes through a portal? That's something I wasn't paying attention, paying attention to. Like when he would th throw the thing out and and, and jump in it. Uh -huh. Was it changing the map or the layout of the the map, or was it like? the same but just with a different theme i wasn't paying attention to see if it changed the world Shit, i wasn't paying attention to that either i was just enjoying it <laughs> yeah me too damn we can, we can find some more footage and go more in depth with it because that looked interesting yeah yeah because that would really be cool if you're on one level you jump in the portal and now you're on a different level because it's a different world you know mm-hmm you know the map layout is probably the same so that way you can progress through it and then jump yeah. back into the other map In a world not of her own, where resolve will be tested. Bullshit. Cool looking wolf dogs straight out of hell <laughs> will look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> will rise. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, shit. Oh, no shit. No, that is Little Red Riding Hood. No, I'm kidding. Um, I want to say that's awesome. like gods or something like that oh project athea never mind i was thinking it was something else damn look at that shit i need that uh ghost dragon i need like a meme of uh, what's his name leonardo dicaprio from uh uh django unchained now you have my attention <laughs> <laughs> I that look damn that good yeah me too so bad Chappy. I was, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, where are those two white dudes at? <laughs> treated like they treated that robot like garbage, man. Come on. That whole movie made me mad. <laughs> that robot. Yeah, Hugh Jackman being a dick. <laughs> I know, dog. He he was he was good too. He was good at it. Say like rip humans. Game Boy faces. No escape. So is this like all machines just living in the world since humans have died? Because that's a really cool concept. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, the wall said like rest in peace humans, so it looks like there's Pe no people. People didn't make it, but cats did. I can totally see that. <laughs> well, even the robots are going to be like, look, we're not going to wipe out the cats. They're cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Skynet dog, was though. a cat AI, you know, not a dog AI. <laughs> Got his little backpack oh. on. Look at him. Do we get to play as the cat? Please tell me we get to play as a cat. I don't know. But I, this game looks awesome. But whatever that. it is, I know. Is this one of those like art style type games where it's like it's about the experience and not about like a main story or plot? Straight. You yep, get to play as a cat, bro. <laughs> bro. I think, Prancing I think the game. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe you wake you, maybe you make your way through uh, the environments or through the world or something. That's cool too. I wonder if it's gonna be like Journey. Yeah. I mean, but in 2021, I hope it's gonna be like a longer experience than Journey. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean when like when I said like art style games where it's just they you know where it's about the experience of what you're doing, not who you're doing it with. Mm -hmm. I don't care about Blu-ray. I, I don't watch no movies on my PlayStation. Get that crap out of here. That's cool. That's worth it. It's kind of late. I need to get that 4K monitor then. That's cool. My graphics card can do that. Yeah, but your console can do it now. I don't. I, so Put that's one thing I, really and I didn't really care about haptic feedback. Yeah, me neither. They've been trying uh, yeah, to get that right since uh, since the early thousands. 
about time they got that USB 3.0. About time they did that too. I'm tired of buying headsets. What are you talking about? You talking the, about the headset jack? Yeah, yeah, built in microphone and speaker. They always did that. What are you talking about? They did that for the for the PS4. Well, they had a built in speaker. I don't think it's a built in microphone unless it works both ways. Oh, it's a built in microphone. Oh, yeah. Built in mic and speaker, it's a constant trade offs between the artistic. I like the 3D audio too because my headsets can do 3D audio. PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock, and it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming, will let us tell stories, make worlds great gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. That boy like a GTA 5 character, man. He do. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of them before. Plot twist. He was actually developed for the in-game system. I relive my first moments on this alien planet. Hmm. I have my interest already. Does she have two different color eyes? Yeah, one was black, one was blue. Huh. Maybe she's infected with something or she got that hyper whatever, whatever that's called. The attack. My death. Trapped. Horror game. Sci-fi, horror, survival, Groundhog Day game? You already have my money. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. As if changing. Mm. This world is becoming part of me. Infecting my mind. My memories. Stole that from Gladiator. <laughs> the more I can feel my sanity slip away, but I cannot lose hope. You already got my money, man. I'm good. I'm gonna play it looks amazing. Looks like it's gonna be a, a psychological cerebral type experience. Yep. Before the cycle breaks me. Returnal? Uh, kind of a dumb name, but game looks good. Yeah. I think every time you die in the game, that's when the cycle starts over. Hmm. I would have called it something like paradox or something. Or like a, a a weird word nobody uses. Returnal. That sounds kind of lazy. <laughs> that sounds like the first the first name they they come up you know they uh, they came up with and we're just like all right let's go with that. Well, what do we do? Well, it's an eternal land. Okay, yeah, but what happens when you die? Well, will you return to it? Returnal. There you go. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. To Tony, the Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. They're great. <laughs> Frosted Flakes commercial. What is this? I know what this is. This is a little big planet. Oh. <laughs> Those kind of games were fun. I remember we played through. Uh, which one did we play through? I remember it was a while three. back. Yeah. So, uh, oh, this, okay, this is Adventure Boy. So, this is just him. I mean, Sock Boy by himself. Look at this cutesy kids game. Yeah. I'm gonna play the fuck out of it. Hell yeah. Yo, is it is it the Rocky music? It sounds just like it. Oh well, it, it did sound like yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, two play Yo, do not <laughs> You know no, we, we gotta get it. down. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah.
Oh, yo, the little character in the background with his with the visor and everything. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he just tossed the ball. So you can do four players, okay? See this part right here, that dun dun dun. Yeah. It just sounds like Rocky. Yeah. It's it's legal. Like what do you call it? Legally distinct. <laughs> just mm -hmm. not to get sued. <laughs> Sack boy, a big adventure. Okay, so it's not called Little Big Planet. It's Sack Boy, a big adventure. Okay. This is that skating game. That dude looks so androgynous, I couldn't tell what it was. What the hell is this? A parkour game? Oh. oh. An arena-based game, you okay. Have, you have my money. Nah, I'm good. They got that in GTA oh. 5. What, that? Yeah, they got like an arena mode, like a destruction derby type thing. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, this looks like Saints Row meets Destruction Derby, but dog. A lot of people probably gonna buy it. Dog, <laughs> this is like, this is like if you were to take Burnout and then mix it with um, what what was that sock uh that 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 uh, soccer game? Uh, what Rocket League. Rocket League. You take Rocket League and you put um, uh, a Burnout with it. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. I will say one unique thing I'm seeing is that people running around on foot first, so maybe you gotta fight people, get the cars, and then it becomes a car thing. You, did you see that with the? Yo, you can add, you can cut. Oh my goodness, Damn. they got upgrades. I used to watch, I used to watch Robot Wars, and it was just mm -hmm. like it looked so dope. Watching people build robots to destroy other robots. <laughs> Just enslaving robots before they become self-aware. Yep. So wrong. <laughs> Ahead of the curve. My name is Josh Greer, and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. Looking like the Hodge twins, just if they never got to say that. Ooh. <laughs> about to play these sugar walls. <laughs> Those things look adorable. You are kind. Yeah, they did. You sense the power Ooh. that flows through this land. Got me interested already. You do not fully understand it. Why did that interest you? Well, just because I like stuff like these adventure games like this. Can help these troubled spirits. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. Is that Ken Watanabe doing that Asian voice? It sounds like it. You have no power here. You have no power here. <laughs> what movie would that? What movie was that mean from? Lord of the Rings or something like that? I don't remember. Oh, bro, is this like? Please tell me this is like um. What is that game where you control all the little things and they do mm -hmm. stuff for you? I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's it. it. Was, oh my! Well, you gotta goodness. get them to launch the rocket or something. Yeah, they look so adorable. Look, and they fight. Yes. Yeah, look how cool this game looks. It's like a martial arts wuxia magic type thing. Mushi Mushi meets like <laughs> adventure. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Can, can a Brit? Okay. I, I need to go back and write all these down. 
so I can look out for him. <laughs> yeah, we can also talk about him uh, too in detail if you want. Hell yeah, we definitely gonna get that one. All right, what we got next. I gotta plan my paychecks around video games now. Shit. I know they're killing us so far. What's this? Getting drunk on the beach. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? They wrong for those anchovies though. Mm. To do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Okay, Life is Strange, a furry version. Yeah, they already did that. There was um, a game that came out, I think last year, maybe year before. It was about this cat and you were like coming out of high school to find your place in the world type thing. Oh. And this looks like uh, something similar. But with animals. Mm -hmm. I mean, not animals, but like... Yeah, anthropomorphic creatures. There you go. I was, I was trying to come up with the name for that anthropomorphic creatures. This is like somebody 4chan like fan art <laughs> that they turned into a video game. Yeah, it could be good to go. I know the game that um that I was thinking about, I never played it, but I watched like other YouTubers play it, and that game looked at least fun and interesting for what it did. And this is probably something similar. Volcano High. I remember Volcano High, and it wasn't like that. <laughs> you remember that movie, right? Volcano High? Hmm. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an Odd world. Did bring that back? Where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. You're bringing back Abe? Or is this somebody else? Abe. They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. That guy looks they pissed. Have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. Mmm, that Spartan kick. <laughs> Ooh. Quarma. <laughs> okay, so, oh, so it's still a side platformer. This looks pretty fun, too. Oh, they didn't my make goodness. it. Oh, mm. my goodness. So is this him? You gotta lead the people through the level, maybe? That's what it That's looks what it like. like. Yep. Well, if I gotta do that, my people ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Every one of your mistakes will cost somebody their life. Yep. About time, you know? <laughs> Could have been cut that. Glad they're bringing that back, though. Your full voice. I never played any of the Odd World games. I played like the first one and that was it. Shinji Got one of those cool Japanese samurai beers that you see on anime characters and stuff. <laughs> like when I get gray hairs, like that's what I want mine to be. <laughs> I'm digging his shirt. Yeah, me too. He got one of them beers that look like every strand of hair was meticulously placed in in in, in specific detail. Mm. Wait, is this that, that one supernatural Tokyo game that they had the trailer for in last E3? Cause that game looked really cool too. You see things others can't. Yeah, I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Yeah, this already got my money too. Your threats, others don't. Mm, 
Oof. Fight when others won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo. Oh, it's first person. Your soul is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Giving that man that Kano. Throwing up spiritual barriers and whatnot. I swear to God, this feels like I'm watching like a weird supernatural modern anime. Mm-hmm. Put in first person. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Hit him with that kanji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit him with that Naruto hand seals. Hell yeah. Oh. Fighting that one girl from My Hero Academia. <laughs> oh, the invisible chick, yeah. Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, that looks dope. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to get pre-ordered for me. I want to see more weird, it, weird, wacky stuff. Oh, because it's a horror game? No, because it's first person. And because oh, yeah. it's a horror game, but mostly because it's first person like that. Mm. I get dizzy real quick. They may have, um, with PlayStation 5, they may give you more graphical settings to control. So maybe they, they might have like a thing where you can increase the the, the view of what you're seeing. I don't know if that helps, maybe. but but a lot of PC games let you do that nowadays. Okay, you're just gonna go with the old religious type feel. You got religion Weird. from that? Well, of the people doing the folk song, essentially. Oh, yeah. It reminded me of church music, kind of. Like, kind of like, have you seen uh, the third Bioshock game? Uh-uh. Okay, because that had a lot of re uh, religious stuff in it, too. That kind of reminded me of um, an Amish-type culture. Mm-hmm. So this is some kind of weird, simulator? like like civilization type game. Yeah, that's what it seemed yeah, like. Year zero, year one. Yeah, yeah. like people going yeah. out into space. So yeah. Okay, so so when does something go wrong and they just wake up twenty thousand years later, <laughs> like in all the sci-fi movies? This looks really cool, though. I will say that. It does. It's like one of those, uh, what do they call that genre? God games, I think? Yeah. Like Sim City, Sims, mm. and Civilization. Yeah. You got to take your tribe or your people throughout all the different history to take care of them so that, so that they don't get wiped out. It's called Jet the Far Shore. Yeah, that, that looks like something I would try, but not buy. Yeah, it looks like a mobile game. Mm hmm Weird musical choice. Gearbox. What is that? What is that? Mm. I'm feeling the game, but the music just kind of don't go with it for me. Yeah. It looks dope, though. Yeah, it does. Owner, though. No, those aren't actual. Yeah, those are AI. Mm. See, that's what I wanted God of War to be. That. Mm. Character action game, essentially. Yeah. Like the new God of War, if if it was like more third person, similar to Ooh. that, summon with... swords. Mm. Yeah, see, like, yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted. So, I feel like I'm gonna get it here.
dodgeball. Yo. Is it multiplayer or single player? I like Probably those designs though. Player. Same. That's gonna be new God of War for me. <laughs> if if it if the game is like if the story is good, because yeah. gameplay is cool, but if the story ain't there, I I ain't care. Uh, the creators of Hyperlight Drifter, you already have my money. What what did they make? Uh, Hyperlight Drifter. It's another game that came out before. Oh. Cool visual inspired action game. Looks it, it looks just like this, by the way, when you play well when you play the maybe just the sequel to Hyperlight Drifter. Damn, she was having a heavy day. <laughs> Apparently. So heavy it was flowing the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> I like the hair. Mm-hmm. I've always liked games where they did that, where the character has like flowing hair or like a smoke cape or something like that, where it travels behind the, you know, the character. Mm-hmm. I remember the, uh, the mo I think the first game I remember seeing something like that in was the modern Shinobi remake when they tried to bring that back for like the PlayStation 2 or Xbox, whatever system it was on. Huh. I think that's a. I, I want to say that probably be like a momentum based game where your movement is based on how fast you move. I mean, you're mm -hmm. uh, where, like where you're moving to. Yeah, that's all the other game was. It, had, it was like one, one of those games where you dash in and dash out of combat and stuff. It was fun. Wow. Hitman. Oh, another Hitman. I'll take another Hitman. It was always gonna end like this. Okay, maybe not Hitman. All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. Either it's Hitman or John Wick. It could be you hunting Agent 47. Maybe. yourself alone. Ooh. The neon man. You got me. You got me. Yeah, you already got me, too. Death awaits. Yep, that's yep. it, man. Agent 47. Hitman 3. That's what's See, up. that's... I think, I think in this one, you are hunting him instead of the other way around. Okay. Is it going to be episodic like the last one? Because I know a lot of people didn't like that. Don't know yet. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. How are you going to be intimate and professional? Also the dramatic I was about to say the same thing. For the World of Assassination trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. That place that has all the fake islands that are just kind of losing momentum now, fading back into the water. Well, I know they got that, that really tall building in Dubai. I think that's Dubai anyway. That's Yeah, that's the building. Yeah, isn't that the, the Mission Impossible building where Tom Cruise was scaling in the movie? Uh, I don't remember. Where's the other one? He had two silver ballers. That's DLC. You got to pay for it. Yeah. I'm kidding. I don't know. Like, I, but, <laughs> you know. Are they going to play a game level? Or what is this? You know, somebody like had their PlayStation controller in and hit the button like an idiot. Mm-hmm. That reminds me of like the P. Remember the PS3 
when you're mm-hmm. just like on the home screen, it, it gives you that kind of feeling of like movement and mm-hmm. little glitter and shit. Like I actually miss that. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad too. to see if that's here, then that's cool. Okay, so they, they turned this into an actual game instead of you just interacting with a bunch of fucking robots. Mm. PlayStation Avatar the game. And mm-hmm. this will probably be some VR exclusive or something. That's what it looks like. Astro's Playroom. Yeah, that's something for the kids to mess with. Are they really gonna do like, okay, X's and O's and triangles like through every video? Like you could just have the videos play back to back. Well, you know, <laughs> you gotta break up the monotony. PlayStation, PlayStation. It's like, okay, we get it. <laughs> Alfred, oh. He is getting <laughs> balling. He is panic, bro. <laughs> Eyes is bugging. Ooh. What do you call that animal? <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's the little Batman right there. That's that's the little Batman. That's who that is. That's little Bruce Wayne. <laughs> During his training days, when he's went to multiple dimensions and fought all these weird creatures to prepare himself for Gotham City. <laughs> Shooting that bear in the ass like that. He's gonna turn around and fucking revenant in your ass. Light his sword on fire. <laughs> Alfred's day is boring as fuck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yup. Got that man freezing and he just chilling. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is Batman year one. Mm hmm. Are you just gonna pull out like a dropping bombs on him, huh? (laughs) Ooh. Oh, you ain't have to do him like that. Um, liking the imagery, though. I ain't gonna rock that man like that, pushing his head down. Like, go forward, go forward. <laughs> Treat him like Yoshi. Little devil inside. I let me, tr- let me try that out. I am really interested in that. It's so quirky. Yeah. What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Y'all are not ready for this. Y'all are. Why did so you we're not feel re- like you had to read that? We're not ready for more basketball games. You know, like what are they just gonna make the people look better and drip more sweat? Like, like, <laughs> man, come on now. That was like big thing in the last one, wasn't it? Uh, I don't remember. I, 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 yep, there damn, it is. damn, did I, I call it? it? Shit. <laughs> You can smell the ball sweat through the video game. <laughs> now with more realistic stains. Yeah, like what the fuck? I mean, granted, it looks great, but I mean, I ain't in a basketball, so. Oh, so that was Homeboy that was that announced it. Hmm. 2K21, yay, another 2K game. Yeah. Your life. Oh, look at that. He broke the rim because that's what it looked like he did. Yeah. Isn't that what they <laughs> don't want to happen in regular basketball? <laughs> Bring back NBA Street. <laughs> give me give me 2K, but NBA Jam version of 2K. Yeah. Then I'll play it. A really big strawberry. Oh my oh, goodness. What? Okay. You lost me. That time he's gonna get eaten. This is too cutesy for him to do that. Amazing. Aren't they? Half bug, half snack. 
a very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, eat that. This one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. Oh. Okay. Tasty too. What? Welcome to the island of bug snakes. Uh, excuse, like, did you see that? What? What were the developers smoking? <laughs> they was on some. Look at that ribs. Like, they was on that good stuff, man. Golly. <laughs> Who is this gonna appeal to? Like, weird kids, probably. Dog. Bug snacks. My invitation is open. Come join me on the. You can't. So is he gonna like eat his arms? Like I don't. Hey, I um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it and uh. With your weenie hands. Again, it's bugs nice. Bruh. Don't don't show little kids that. They will go outside and eat bugs. Like mm. How's Dog, ice cream right. walking around, like Dog, you were so right. They somebody had to be smoking hella weed. <laughs> <laughs> got munchies in a motherfucker and ordered everything on the menu and was like, you know what? I'm gonna turn this into a video game. Like, like he picked up some shrimp and it was in his hand. It was like, I got shrimp hands. I wonder oh, if shit. I eat this, will it become part of me? <laughs> shrimp hands. You are what you eat. Yes. It's like, dog, please don't. <laughs> Everybody else in the room was like, that's a good idea. Pass that shit here. Like, mm -hmm. dog. I mean, yeah, I'm sure some kids will probably play that, but Hi everyone. I don't know. Thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. All right. What is near and dear to you? You got giving away free PlayStation Plus. That would be nice. This does not look like PlayStation Plus. <laughs> you know you're gonna get uh, one month of free PlayStation Plus when you buy the console, though. Oh hell yeah! That looks nice. I'm feeling the visuals and the music. Okay, weird, creepy cult. I'm waiting to see like a recognizable character or something. Big old monkey hand. Oh, that that's don't a look good. Giant bird. Either that or the aliens from Independence Day. Right. Dark Souls? Or Demon Souls? Yeah. They look Is like the guy that was in Demon Souls. Yeah, the Elite Knight or uh, yeah, the Elite Knight set. Oh. It's a guy with a big oh. shield and a sword. This has to be like Demon there Souls or Dark Souls or some shit. Maybe they're remastering it for PlayStation 5. Maybe. Is that the weird Wait, fleshy it's... dragon that was in Demon? Yeah. Isn't that the boss that you have to fight? Yeah, that's what I thought. Demon Souls, yep. yeah. Wow. So it's just a remastered version of the first game? Mm-hmm. Probably changing the way the characters and stuff look and all that stuff. Yeah, because Demon Souls, they made that before they made Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Oh, okay. Destin is a next-gen first-person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision, what Arkin is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay, a surreal player-driven story smashed together. Serial? Mm. Check this out. What was that game that you played on, was it Xbox One? With the, the guy who was Iceman in the X-Men movies? Where it was like each episode was like a television show. See, when mm -hmm, he said serial, mm -hmm. that's the first thing that came to my mind. I hope it's not like that. That was actually a good, a good game too. I liked it. Mm. That was like the wrong first, way to load a gun. It, 
Especially a nail gun. Like you, you still gotta point them in the yeah, right they gotta, direction. Yeah, they gotta go straight. She is not making this easy. So you must be a black dude. Shoot, either that or the main guy from Tom Splitters. Yep. You sound just like that guy. Mm. I mean, maybe this is Tom Splitters. I mean, because that did have like a comedy type feel to it. And it's like, this looks campy. If they show a guy that, that kind of looks like Riddick from Pitch Black or, or from Pitch, yeah, Pitch Black, Pitch Dark. Uh, another game that has that kind of power. Mm. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Nope, this is something new. Fun. No, wait a minute. Is this that game? For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party where hunting me is the main attraction. Oh, you just gotta survive. <laughs> I try to escape. Yeah. Always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you only had to do that to him. I ain't gonna mess him yeah, up twice. Did. Yeah, you did. Did that just to fuck with him. See, I like the little mm. telekinesis power they got. That's what's up. Piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets. Why the third one look like Bruce Lee, though? Before midnight. <laughs> and why the second one look like Bruce Lee, also? There's just one little snag. Yep, this is that game. Easy. The black chick and him, mm -hmm. they they kill each other and they keep coming back. Okay. They kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. Okay, it looks interesting. Yeah. Yeah, death loop. That's what it was called. See, last I'm just time gonna say, we, what's his name I from The Walking him? Dead? You know, he got he got some training in. You know, the main character, the guy who was uh, saving Clementine. I forget what his name oh, was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, he became an assassin after that. There was another game on PC that this reminded me of. Wow, did you just kick him in the dick? That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> Not that many games allow you to do that. Um, There was another game that was on, on, on PC. It was similar to this, but I don't think it got finished. Where mm. everyone had like, I like it. masks on. There's a difference. Oh, the, that was like the horror inspired psychological type game where yeah. they was taking happy drugs or something. Yeah. 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 I like. like I can't said. think of the name, but I know what you're talking about. She said, "I like well, watching you. I don't like watching you die, but I like killing you. There's a difference." <laughs> well, I guess everybody has their fetishes. Yeah. Right. That's that kinky relationship right there. <laughs> This story comes to a close. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. The Last of Us? Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch. I don't think so. And into the forest. Well, I remember that one picture of Ellie Reed holding the storybook. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. Damn, they could have turned the volume up on their voices. Yeah, I know. Quit being so barren. <clears throat> Horror game? Yeah. No, no, friendly. How did he survive that? How did you miss? Yeah, he has a shotgun. He was like less than a foot away from him. No, that's a rifle. Uh. Oh, I like this. This reminds me of one of those like, oh, local folklore horror game type things. Mm -hmm. I like it though. Remember that game from back in the day? It was like where those college kids were like went went to the 
cabin in the in the woods, like in the mm-hmm. hills and shit, was snowing. That's what that reminds me of. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, where they fought Wendigos and stuff, but I forget the name of it. Mm-hmm. Came out a few years back. Damn. I bet it's going to be a story game just like that. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be one of those supernatural, hard, linear stories. Looks good, though. Damn, you ugly. Mm hmm. Dusk something. That's what it was like. Dusk something. No, nah, no, yeah. it wasn't Dusk. I would know it if I heard it. It's not that. I'm trying to think of the name too, but I just can't think of it right now. Village, Resident Evil. Oh, that's a it's Resident like... Evil game. Resident Evil? Yeah, I, maybe that it, was v- Village Resident Evil. Yeah, maybe it's a spinoff or maybe they don't want to keep just making remakes because the last game, the last remake that they did was garbage in my opinion compared to uh, Resident Evil 2 remake from last year. Ah, what was the name of that game? That's going to bug me. I know it's two words that I do know, but I just can't think of it. Until dawn. Yep, that was it. I was just looking it up on my phone. I want the astronaut suit bad. All right, NASA just making dead space armor. You know, if anybody would, it would be them. This game looks cool, though. I will say that. Reminds me of um. What's Kojima's game? Death Stranding? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what it reminds me of, too. Sci-fi Death Stranding. <laughs> Ooh, That's weird see-through kitty. Yeah. Would you so cute, though. have a translucent cat? <laughs> yeah. I would love to have, like, an AI pet. That'd be awesome. All right, so New York definitely got messed up and is infected with some, because otherwise he wouldn't be dressed up like that. Maybe technology took over the world? Whoa. Okay, reality warping. Oh. There, maybe they're not on Earth. Maybe they're on a space station or something. That looks awesome. I that, feel. Okay, that looks, yep. Oh! Look at this cool shit! Yup. Yup. Oh! It's That's not gameplay. Nah, not gameplay. No. I need to see gameplay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's the space station. Yeah. Because if not, that's just like the coolest pragmata. That's like the coolest like visual tech demo. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not. I need. I need to see what what the game actually plays like. Because that'll be like the best part of the game is just watching that. And then that's it. Yeah. Okay, so they was on the moon or. Okay. Maybe that was a simulation. 2022. Probably. Yeah. Why are you showing me shit that's two years from now, man? Yeah. I mean, I'll probably buy that when it comes out. Yeah. Probably but... gonna forget about it by then, but... <laughs> I'm gonna forget about that next week. I need to see stuff that's gonna be releasing when the game, when the system drops. System come out, yeah. Well, a lot of stuff has been saying, you know, holiday 2020, so. That's true. The old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. In their place came new life. Man, look how detailed that looks. Mm. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, prick. 
Yeah. Fuck it, then I'll just eat this. That, oh, why he didn't want it? Oh, yeah, hey. that's bought. That has my money. Okay. Yeah, I, I love that first game, bro. I must find a way to stop it. Or it will get worse and worse. I loved everything about that game. Oh, look at the snapping turtle. That's dope. Until it destroys us all. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. Man, you got all that tech. I won't explore. And you still planting stuff in the ground? Better plant some <laughs> shit in some water. Do some hydroponics. Well, they worshipped it. That was the whole thing. It was just, you know, the technology was all around the world, but they they worshipped it. No barrier I won't cross. I thought the last game just kind of ended everything. If I falter... I don't think it ended. It kind of, you stopped the main threat, if I remember right. You learned more about where she came from, who she was, and stuff like that. Hey, hey that black Mr. dude. Mr. Can't turn his neck. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Taurus Army, motherfucker. <laughs> that was that was the same dude that was in that game you were talking about. Um, the one with Iceman. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the guy from John Wick, the Continental Hotel guy. Mm -hmm. I love him in most of the stuff he plays in. But whatever comes. I will be ready. Oh, that game was so good. All they had to do was just make a sequel. They, you know, the game could be about anything. On behalf of the entire team at Guerrilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Elga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Yeah, the name of the first game sounds a whole lot better. <laughs> What's the name of that fucking game? Was it Quantum something? Quantum Break, I think. I think Quantum Break. Too, for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. Oh, uh, Raven, they made some good games. No who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Expect the unexpected. And I, for one, can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about I just thought about something. You know, every movie or thing that does this, like, you know, they got to be paying, like, the Brady Bunch royalties because they were, like, the first show that did that. <laughs> <laughs> Caviar. That's what it looks like. Mm. Ooh, look at that cool sapphire stuff. Nano I materials. To, I want to dive in it. It looks so comfortable. I was I was about to say that. <laughs> looks like you remember those um those uh toys yep. where you could put your hand in you it and have an imprint. Yep. That's what yep. it reminds me of. That's probably what like nano machine material and stuff is going to do in the future where it just conforms to any shape you want. Bro, can you imagine popping a molly and just going to touch that thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. It was like, I got to put my penis on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Like, you know, that's like the first thing you would do, right? Because it's like, imagine if you could tell it to take any shape, be like the perfect shape woman that you want. First thing I would do with this is I would do, I will recreate the Homer Simpson meme 
when he just like kind of fades into the bushes. I don't oh. know what it's <laughs> just, like. just back into it. <laughs> yep. There it is. The new Look Xbox that. One. Look at that weird ass shape. Yeah. Yeah, Sony was tripping. It's like, I get it, they trying to be futuristic, but it's like, you don't want to take your competition's colors. Like, come on now, make it blue and black or something. I don't care how much music you put on top of it. Yeah. This will never look sexy to me. I mean, and, and I know, like, granted, the Xbox true colors are like black and green. Yeah. And the the Xbox One, was it S or something like that, was, was white and black. But I think PlayStation's white black and blue i want to say that that is kind of reminiscent of playstation because the original was gray Mm -hmm. and they had a white version they also had like a white playstation version i think it was ps3 yeah Mm -hmm. the one and then i think the three had one as well a white version so Mm -hmm. i can see the see why they did this but my thing is the er like the ergonomics of it looks so fucking weird to me yeah okay so they got two of them but I know a, a lot digital of people like the and a disc tray version. Um, yeah, I can care less about that digital. I like Why? having options. Well, I like having options. I, if, if, if I buy my game in a store, I want to be able to play it. I, I mean, granted, so. whether they do away with that in the future, but I mean, but does does your PC have a disc tray on it? Yeah, I don't really? use it, but it but it has one. <laughs> exactly you don't use it so it's like yeah but hard I, copies it's, are going away yeah but they're not going but they're not going yet we hope you know? you've enjoyed that's, the that's first true. glimpse of our future today you've seen our most striking console design yet and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of playstation 5's features and power at playstation we believe in generational transitions and we put years of work into making them happen We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Yeah, Yeah, a lot of people won't like the fact that you can't lay it down sideways, but that's what it is. I guess they just got to get used to it. Mm, I can't hear you. Well, I don't like consoles that stand up like that. It's, if you get the disc in there, it's too easy for the disc <laughs> to scratch up. I remember the noise that the 360 would do. You go to bump that shit a little bit, ruins your damn game. Mm-hmm. Man, I think they did that job, so though. Why do you say like why do you say I can stand it up when this happens to my fucking game? It's like you can stand it up. Didn't say <laughs> but, you should. But stand we don't it recommend up. it. <laughs> yeah. You can do anything. Shit, you can hold it upside down if you want to, but <laughs> don't think you should. Yeah, I think everybody, you know, and, and that's the thing is everybody did that. Everybody knows that sound because it's like if you mm-hmm. if you stood your Xbox vertical, you knocked it over one time and it messed your yep. you know took your disc out had that big deep groove ring in it. Yup. <laughs> had that texture on it. Like what the fuck? Ain't hey, nobody two face in the world gonna buff that out, bro. <laughs> and as soon as you hear the noise, like and it's like oh no, you just know you're you're again your game is fucked. It's like like there's no like maybe it's still all right. Nah, you just know. <laughs> yep. That's why those. Pick up your phone. Hi, GameStop. Do y'all have another copy of, like, you already know, bro. Like, it's gone. <laughs> it may play, like, the first 20 minutes. It hit, it, you hit a loading screen, and it just won't work no more. I will say this. It, it was, I mean, because I'm guessing this is the end. They did do that damn thing. They showcased the games more than the hardware. Um, I mean, I, th- I think that was our presentation. What do you think? Uh, I liked it. I didn't, I didn't, uh, there's certain things I didn't like is it, it did say that all the stuff that was here was captured from the, from in game. And that wasn't mm-hmm. true. 
Yeah. Uh, because some of the, most of the stuff was visuals, like cutscenes, things like that. Yeah, so, pre-rendered stuff. So. Yeah, pre-rendered stuff. The only real good visuals that I saw that I feel like was in game was the Ratchet and Clank for sure. Um, that game with the little 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 furry things running behind the the, the chick, which I, I can't mm. wait for that game. Wow. Um, and maybe like. The, I want to say maybe that other game, but I'm pretty sure that was like something rendered as well. See, like that, that all, that gameplay, dope. I wanted to see more of that. Yeah. Not just this game, but I wanted to see more of gameplay from other games, not necessarily the visuals, like a trailer. I wanted to see what you. could it actually do, you know? Showcase the um, new features of what the system is capable of. Exactly. Like more things or more visuals on screen compared to this gen. And I get you. Exactly. I will say this, though. They did a good job with Branson Clank showing off what the system can do mm-hmm. in real time. See, so captured on captured on PS5. So at that point, you can literally you can put anything on there. You can you can put a movie on there and say, well, it was captured from the PS5. I know it was yeah. captured from the PS5, but is that yeah. what the game is? It, is it running on the system? Yeah, exactly. I get you. Um, I didn't like the control. Like when I saw the uh, reveal of the control system, can you go back to that? The uh, very end? yeah. Cool. That. That reminds me of uh, the the Sony Saturn uh, control. There we go. Se- Sega Saturn. I don't know why I said mm. Sony Saturn. Sega Saturn had that same kind of little little control rounded mm-hmm. sides, and I hated the feel of that. That's yeah. it's the same it's the same feel of like having a, a, a Nintendo sixty four controller in your hand. It just feels weird. Like it feels yeah. wide for no reason. And it's, it's just not comfortable. Like I have to, I have to have the controller in my hand to in order to feel it, like in order to see what it feels like. But that looks mm-hmm. uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it it definitely reminds me of like the, them going back to those older controller designs before yeah. the Xbox 360 kind of made the buttons work, and then Sony had the form factor of PlayStation's. It, it mm-hmm. which system had that had that controller called the Boomerang? Was that the boomerang? Yeah, it was. It was like one of them was actually shaped like a boomerang controller. But um, oh, I know. Oh, you know what? I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember the name of the system. I hated yeah. that damn controller too. Mm-hmm. Like that's like, what this reminds like me of. Like, yeah, yeah, because you have to have a good form factor. That, that that's one thing with the the Xbox generation, or at least with the 360, that they kind of got right and then move and then ever since then it's been fine <laughs> but nope, that's what it was it was the ps3 controller it was a boomerang yeah, yeah that's what they tried to change it before and nobody liked it so they went back to oh the older God. you know they made you know went back to the older format of controllers it was horrible and you know what's yeah. funny is that people people are literally comparing it to the boomerang right now like mm-hmm. if you type in boomerang controller you'll find the old school playstation controller and the new one right like right underneath it they yeah. they damn near look the exact same except for like the boomerang controller is more like of a moon shape, mm. and the on, like the only difference is you have a, a thicker middle part because of the uh, the touchpad. Yeah, and maybe that's why they had to make it wider. Maybe because it has more hardware built into it. But like I'm hoping that they come out with options. Like maybe that let that be the default controller that comes with the system. Mm-hmm. But have a regular PlayStation 4 controller, just have it be a little bit bigger, but have the same yeah. stuff. That's that's what I'm hoping. So, hmm. And then also, I kind of I was kind of hoping that that touchpad would be a little screen screen on it as well. Yeah, I, th- I think didn't they say that that there was going to be a screen like or, or was or, or was that a rumor? I want to say it was a rumor. I, I don't I don't really believe anything that they say is gonna happen until I actually mm. see it. Yeah. So, uh, so when I saw like visuals of it, the controller didn't look anything like that. The controller looked more more like the old controller, which mm. that's when it kind of gave it away that that was just a rumor because like people can make photoshopped pictures look extremely yeah. realistic. But uh, I know that if they put a little screen in it, that would just like hike the price up by like another two hundred dollars and shit just just for the controller. Not just for the controller, but 
because there's mm. now a little monitor in your screen. I mean, in your uh, in your handheld device. Mm. But the other thing that I don't like about that is working in retail. I've seen so many computers come along that have that kind of vertical system, and you can see the vents are at the top. Yeah. And with the oh, vents yeah. at the top being like that, yeah, that will collect so much dust really, really quickly. Yep. Because most people right. put their systems on the floor or something like that mm-hmm. where, where dust is going to accumulate. Yep. So when stuff goes in and it comes out the vent, it's going to get clogged up. You you have a lot of dust there. Like I've seen it happen so many times before with other computers that like they come in and they look just like that. And they're like, it, it's overheating. Well, yeah, because you didn't fucking air out your damn, you know, you got to spray can air this thing or mm-hmm. pop it open and, and clean it out because that's how it is. I, I, I want to say Alienware. Had, was it Alienware? Yeah, they had like the, the, uh, the big alien thing cover on the front. Yeah, no, I think it was Asus. They had came out with a computer that's a vertical computer like that. And it was, mm-hmm. it looked very similar to this, but it was more compact and the vents came out the top and that thing overheated so many times that they actually had to recall it and they no longer make it. Hmm. Damn. So I hope that it's not that similar kind of situation. Like I hope that if, because right now my PS4 overheats, Mm. well, it doesn't overheat, but it gets so hot to where I have to make sure that it stays cool because I don't know what's going to happen to it. Yeah. With the new upgraded hardware in this, being that it's so much more powerful than a PS4, I wonder if it's going to have a heating issue if you're playing it for like more than eight hours. Because you know people going to be on here like oh, yeah. all damn day. Streamers I mean, are going to be like testing the fuck out this. I would assume so. It's That's the nature of modern computing. You know, it's like the smaller they make it, the smaller the cooling has to be. Like, you're, like they're not going to put water cools in... 120 millimeter fans in that system like you would let's say a desktop computer to cool it down they're just not going to do that because it's so small so they're probably going to have like really high grade smaller fans that Mm -hmm. can push and create airflow but at the same time just like any other anything else that's just going to break down and it's and after years of running it for day in and day out shit's going to break things are going to start overheating and getting hot and shutting down and all that shit it's going to happen yeah I think I'm going to end up getting a digital version. Well, if, okay. The only reason I get a digital version is Mm -hmm. as long as the games download directly to the hard drive and I don't need the internet to connect, I'll get it. (laughs) Okay. I know. know. Yeah. Yeah. They'll probably download to the hard drive, but yeah, you probably still got to, you know, be online and stuff. But yeah, that all depends. If it's a single like, player game, I would assume that if you download it, unplug it, it will let you play it. But yeah, that all depends if they let that happen or not. See, that's um, the thing. Like a lot of the times you you have to authenticate your license. Yep. So that means you have to connect to the internet. And mm-hmm. like that's the shit that I hated with Nintendo. It was the same mm-hmm. fucking way. And I'm like, and I, with, uh, I, I think I, Xbox I, One was originally like that too, or something similar. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what 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 the fuck is this? Not everybody's gonna have the internet. Exactly. What if the internet goes out, but you still want to play your games? Same difference. Yeah. Yeah. So I can see why they would put a disk drive in there. But like, if that's the only reason, but I don't want to have to go buy a bunch of discs. Like I, I hate, like that's, that's what I hate about GameStop now is that mm. I go buy a game that's 60 something dollars. I play it, I'm done. And I have to go trade it in and get less money or I keep it. And now I have a stack of fucking dvd collection and it's just taking up space in my home and i don't like that well i think that's that's them appealing to both sides of the market for for like for people like you that digital version would be good but me i like having the options of actually buying the games yeah Mm -hmm. it may be going away in the future or or what have you but at the same time if like if i want to go to the store and actually buy a game to have it Mm -hmm. as physical media to play it years down the road after the when the playstation 6 comes out and they turn the shit off you know, because you know that's going to happen with a lot of digital stuff too. It's like I don't, I want to be able to keep what I buy. You know, like for me, like I can open my desk drawer right now, and I still have like fucking Starcraft from back in the day, from '98, original copy. Oh damn! 
you know, like, <laughs> still got, you know, the original Far Cry game from back in the day. <laughs> Wait, you think you think that PlayStation is, is eventually going to go away? They they always do that. Name me one system that stays around. If it's a digital game, and let's say you're paying for a digital copy of a game, two or three systems, or maybe oh, like yeah. years later, they turn off the servers, and then you can't play that game no more. You or, right? Or let's All say the if, digital stuff from PlayStation Four. I mean, for PlayStation Three. Exactly. It'll be just like how they did. <laughs> um, what was the Silent Hill horror game that that came out for PlayStation Three that that everybody liked? Mm-hmm. Um, Silent Hills, I think is what they. I think it's what they called it, but it'd be just like that. Like when it came out and then, you know, Konami didn't do the game no more. They removed it from the store. So if you didn't, if you oh, had it installed, yeah. you can play it, but you couldn't go back up and redownload it. So if you have all of I your games that. on your system and they take it off the store, if your PlayStation fucks up, there goes all of your games. That's that's when people were selling their PlayStations that had the game yes. on it for like a huge amount of money. Mm-hmm. Shoot, I still got mine has it on it. Cause I never took it off, but, but that's the benefit of having a physical media to where well, you can still case, use it essentially. But you know, in that case, then, then just have both of them. You know what I mean? Just, just yeah. have one model that has the hard drive on it. I don't see why, why yeah. you have to make two different models. Well, they're um, appealing to, uh, uh, to both sides, the people like myself and people like yourself. It's, it's, shit. they're covering their ass essentially, you know? I got a PS4 now that has a hard drive in it. I don't use it, but it's still there. I mean, that means mm-hmm. I can still watch DVDs if I wanted to, or or go get a physical copy of a game that I don't see on the digital market. But it's like you might as well just make one version that has the op that has the disc drive on it, and then if people don't want to use it, they just don't use it. You know, better to have mm-hmm. it and to not use it than to need it and not have it. So mm-hmm. why even make a second second console unless that one is going to be significantly lower. Yeah, it's like, money. It's all it I, is. One's yeah, probably going to be 500. The out. other one's probably going to be 400 or something. Yep. Yep. That's all it is. I See, I want to say, I want to say one is going to be, okay, at most, $600, right, when it first drops. Because mm. I want to say, I, I remember the Xbox 360 when it dropped was 600. It was like, it was some crazy amount of money or someone was willing to pay $600 for it when it first dropped, whatever. But I want to say that one is going to be 600. The other one's going to be 550 or one's going to be mm. 500 and the other yeah. one's going to be 450. Yeah. Something I would say like 400 or 500. Cause it's, it's one of those things where um, I remember those days where, when I think it was PlayStation came out and it was like 500 to $600. A mm-hmm. lot of people jumped in their shit because of that price. And I think mm-hmm. the PlayStation, I think the four was like $400 if I remember right. I could be wrong, but unless you had like, you know, a, a bundled edition console that came with a couple games or something like that. So I yeah. think this is going to probably be similar. The The bigger one is probably going to be like 400 or $500. And the other one's probably going to be a hundred dollars cheaper. They're not going to knock off a couple hundred dollars off the price, but it's going to be cheaper than the other one. That's probably how they're going to sell people on it, you know? That way they don't yeah. look at that five hundred dollar price tag and be like, "Oh, that's too much money." Well, we got this one here for you, you know. Yeah, that I guess that makes sense. So they can have two different price points that that would hit. Mm-hmm. Because I guess if you just take off fifty dollars for a hard drive, then at that point it's like, well, it's just fifty dollars. Let me just get the one with the hard drive. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, that it doesn't hard look drive as sleek, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That hard drive isn't a hundred dollar hard drive. Like it's no, it's no. just not. It's not. So that would be a big ass price gap. So I, I would have. To, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say that I would have to wait and see what options the digital version has. Yeah. Because that's going the PS5. I mean, come on. It's gonna be another ten years before they come out with a P, uh, PlayStation Six. Mm-hmm. At that point, because now they're already doing ray tracing. If they're doing ray tracing from that then that means we have to wait for more technological advances yep, to come out for, for PC to, to, to be better. And then for this to catch up with PC. Yeah. And I just don't see that happening in the next 10 years, let them, let alone, well, I don't see that happening in the next like 12 years, let alone like five. Well, I think technology is definitely going to change. That's going to come in the, you know, probably in the next four or five years, no matter what. But, um, what's probably not going to change is consoles. They're not going to catch up to what PCs can do no time soon. 
well, that's what I mean. Like, like technology yeah. and consoles. It's like hey, it's yeah, not gonna. Know. Yeah, they're using old tech. They're using old tech now to make this, like mm-hmm. ray tracing. That was in that's in my graphics card now, the RTX twenty eight. So mm-hmm. it's and that came out what last year, year before last, something like that. So that's already using old shit. Like they're just now yeah. getting around to using SSDs and PlayStation. Like that's been in PCs for like the past five or six years. So that's, so that's what I mean. Like for for a digital version. Hmm. And then, like, you may end up losing it. Okay. Mm. I, I think I'd be okay with that because I don't play my, I I don't feel like playing a PlayStation Three, even even if there's nostalgia in those games. I don't feel like playing it because I know what those games look like, and to, for me at least, the it's hard idea, to go back. exactly the idea of what it was is better than actually turning that shit on and actually playing it, like from playing the new God of War. Nope, that's a bad example. Bad example. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to, I was about to say the old one was mm, visually mean, appealing though. to me, but like that's bullshit. Like, because that's that's all gameplay. Going back and playing like an old Tomb Raider game as opposed to the new Tomb Raider game with all the visuals yeah. and shit like that, it's not gonna look good. So I already know I, I'm not gonna want to do it. Yeah. For that, and... I just go to YouTube and watch videos. Yeah, and you know, I can see where you're coming from. A lot of people think that way. And plus with the way that they keep remastering video games, like like we like with this one we saw Demon Souls, like that's that shit's mm-hmm. been out for over probably ten years now. You know, yep. they keep coming out with remasters and stuff when every other console comes out. Let me look at GTA. Same difference. You know, it's that's that's not gonna stop, you know, anytime soon because that's the way companies can make money. So if, if it's a good game that you play all the time, it's probably gonna come out again more yeah. than likely. But that's just gonna come out with that Skyrim. I'm I'm I'm, I'm surprised I'm, I didn't see it in this video. Oh my you, goodness! You know that's coming. Skyrim. Um, <laughs> Bro. But uh, like, you know, I don't at know that what point, call just it, get a PC, man. Just yeah, you know, right? <laughs> if you got to play Skyrim, fucking twenty years later, like just just get a PC. It, it'll look better. You can put mods on it. People can be naked. You like. Mm. Don't wait. Like, don't be like, oh, can we get a Skyrim for PlayStation? Get a PC. Bro. Be like, just, 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 just give them that Batman smack meme. Like, can we get it? Shut up. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want to see another Witcher. Like, don't put the Witcher on this. Like, nah. come on, man. I don't, I don't need to see all that. That was like the problem that I had for like one whole year was nothing mm-hmm. but remasters. And I was like, hated that why shit. are you so fucking lazy? Don't do another remaster. Cause nobody's buying it. Like only, only hardcore fans are buying it and it's not that many. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, we don't have enough money to make another game. Yeah. Because you spent all that fucking time on a remaster. Make your other yeah. game. Yeah. And that's probably what held back this console transition to the new shit because this console probably could have came out. I mean, maybe they were waiting for like ray tracing and a few other things, but this shit could have came out like two or three years ago. You know, the only thing that's holding it back is just the industry saying like, oh, we don't have to put out one yet. When really it's like, yeah, you do. Like it's been close to 10 years. Put some new shit out, you know, but if if everybody's buying shit, you know, nobody wants to be first. Yeah. Sony Sony don't need a new console. They're just making money with the PlayStation brand over Xbox right now. Xbox needed something new. So, well, they need games. They don't need hardware. They they need fucking games. Yeah. I about to say they need games. I, remember for, I think Xbox. Um, oh, you go first. My bad. No, go ahead. I was gonna say I think Xbox's reveal thing is gonna be like I think August. I think. I mean, I was hoping it was gonna okay. be like next week, but I think they said their their presentation thing is gonna be in August, so we can do that one too. I don't know what they're gonna show. You know, they don't got shit. You know, here here's some new hardware that, 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 that that's better than a PlayStation, but we we got Halo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it feels like to be a Star Wars fan now when you're just beating a dead horse. It's like you're mm-hmm. ruining the stuff that was so good about the game. Like, as much of a Halo fan I was, I don't, I kind of don't want to see another Halo because it's it's one of those, my expectations for that game is mm-hmm. so low right now that you will literally destroy my like for the franchise. Yeah. And that's what you they've been doing. Like, I, I didn't say low. 
like yeah. for the franchise. That's because it's, it's been, you know, damn near destroyed with like the past couple games. Like, don't get me wrong. I think I think I stopped with Halo with Halo 5. I, I loved as a concept because you got to see Blue Team, but mm-hmm. I hated the game. Halo 4, I thought that was cool. Like, I liked seeing Master Chief change as change a character. With this yeah. one here, with, with the new one, I think it's going to be like kind of like they want to reboot it, but it's still a sequel. So it's going to, I think they're going to try to take it back to what Halo used to be, where Hopefully. Master Chief is the only Spartan and, you know, and, and all of that. But I don't know. I mean, they haven't released a, you know, a whole lot about trailers or nothing like that. That shit fell off during Re- Halo Reach. And then it, like, Halo mm-hmm. Reach was the bomb that, that started it. And then it just started click, 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 click. No, no, no. Fracture the, fracture the fan base. Yeah. What started it was when. Well, no, not what started it. What cemented that fall was when uh, Bungie gave that shit up to mm-hmm. 343 Industries. Yep. And it's like, all right, well, you just gave it to people that didn't really take the essence of what it was mm-hmm. and 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 run with that. It's like they all the source material that they had, the essence of the game, they ignored it for new features. Just like yeah. kind of just how much extra shit can we throw on a game and, and see what happens And like, well, now you see what happens. And there's a reason why Bungie's doing so well with destiny because they take that essence of the game and they keep running with it. Yeah. You know, they, they keep it, they make sure that it's exactly the way it feels from the very first time that you played it the first time. And with halo, like you don't have that enjoyment anymore. It's, it's just so, poorly done even even if you get a good story in there the mm-hmm. gameplay is what people want it's turning it to me it's turning into call of duty nobody yeah. plays call of duty for the story they play it for the multiplayer and if mm. your multiplayer isn't on point nobody wants to play your shit and exactly. halo multiplayer recently in like recent years have not been on point at all because who the no. hell is playing halo right now nobody yeah and it's a perfect opportunity to bring a halo huh, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. Uh, Halo <laughs> Battle Royale. Oh, don't say Why that. Why don't you have that? No, 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 no. What we need is a what we need is a Halo game that plays like Battlefield. That's what we need. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, to me, Battlefield was a Battle Royale. Well, no, it wasn't because you got respawns. Mm. But you have the option though. Like, why yeah. not? Why not yeah. make that? Yeah. It's the exact same thing because how how does how does a Spartan get to the planet in the first place? Mm-hmm. It has they have to orbital jump. So they're jumping in orbit. That's that's just like how Fortnite is. Except yeah. except for it'll be more realistic because you're not fucking flying on a weird bus with a balloon on it. It's like <laughs> Mm. You literally have everything that can make a great, like either yeah. um, battle royale or like a battlefield type game with Halo, but you're yeah. not doing it. It's like, yeah. come on, man. There, there's so many ideas that they can do. Like they can take your idea, make that an ODST game. You know, two no, ships well, jump don't. jump into orbit <laughs> on a planet and they drop in. You know, they can do it that way. Or if they do the the battlefield idea, you can make a game where like it plays like Halo Three. But give yeah. me the big open maps with vehicles and stuff like Battlefield yes. to make them that big, and and, and give me the structure yes. and shit, and give me the visuals yes, and the man. sound cues that's just like Battlefield. Like like they can do that, but I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fucking hated ODST. Like I hated that with a passion. Like <laughs> that, <laughs> that game is like, what the fuck am I playing? It's it's literally, I'm a human with no armor. <laughs> I'm just a regular ass person. You just wanted to be a Spartan. And, That's all that was. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you, you are a person that want that that aspired to be a Spartan, but you didn't have the genes for it. So now you about to go get shot by a bunch of aliens. And no, you don't have a regenerative health shield. You got to fucking like step aside and patch yourself up. You know, it's like, oh, why? What is this? What am, what am I playing? Why do I? And then you're tiny. You're tiny as shit. You're looking up at Spartans, and they're like. They're like your daddy Seven or some foot shit. Tall. <laughs> you know what I mean? You looking like you feeling like a fucking kid, and you a you a marine. You know what I mean? You looking like shit. <laughs> yeah, you are out of your depth. You feel out of your depth with that game. It's like mm-mm. I don't mm. I don't want an ODST. I want I want to be Master Chief 
<laughs> or be one of the Spartans, not just Master Chief, and just go mm-hmm. out there with like different type of gear on. Like you can have you can have a tank uh, option where you got all the tank gear and fucking uh, mm. big ass ordinances. You got the 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 fast model where it's just you sneaking around, not sneaking around, but like bashing around, like mm. stabbing people. You got the, your snipers. You got your your yeah, regular have a class man, like Chief. Yeah. It's so easy. Like now you got a mix between between like a Fortnite type thing because you know you got a launch in and shit and the world is destructive. Mm-hmm. And you got a, a mix between like Apex because you have classes that work yeah. to, like you know, that work in unison. Like I need that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. All you gotta do is just, you know, put it, you know, wrap it up in a Halo theme. Like, you know, yeah. you know, the gas or whatever, the, the force field that encroaches on a map, have that be the covenant glass in the planet. And they're just slowly That's... encroaching, you know, and destroying the map. So if, if you don't extract oh. at the end, you die. You know, it's like they can easily do it. But <laughs> you saying this stuff right now, it's like, yeah, but we're talking about PlayStation right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about all the amazing games that we just saw. I may not get that Ratchet and Clank. It, it looks amazing, but mm. I'm just not like a fan of Ratchet and Clank like that. Mm. Yeah, I can imagine but, for those people man. who who love Ratchet and Clank, yeah, they're gonna be, they're probably gonna buy that first day, first day of drops. Yeah. What did you think about it? You, th- you think it was all this is cool? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it solved the problem that. Um, that that other thing that they had, uh, they had like the developer PlayStation Five reveal. Or was it a couple months ago? And a lot of people didn't like that because it was made for developers, not for people. And I think that they kind of jumped into it. I mean, I don't know if COVID caused this to be this way. Like if E three would, would you know was still a thing this year, if they would have did things how they normally do it. But I like this a little bit better because it's like okay, here are the games we're putting out. Well, we're not doing no kind of stage performance. It's just th- this is what we're coming out with. Here's the system. Yeah, you know, nobody cares it's, about it's, it. It's straight to the point, you know, and, that, and that's yeah. what I do like. Yeah. Uh, E3 has been going downhill for like the past few years. Sony mm-hmm. skipped out on, I think it was two last year and I think the year before last. Um, And then... Ubisoft had their own, like, even though they went, they still had their own thing. Nintendo mm-hmm. has its own thing. Um, at that point, it's like, if why when they saw Nintendo, yeah, when when they saw Nintendo wasn't hurting, why do it? And then uh, when they opened E3 to the general public, instead of making it a, a, a developer and press only thing, they said that the experiences went downhill really quickly. All the lines mm-hmm. were extremely long. Um, yeah. There was there wasn't a lot of respect going around for like game developers and stuff like that because you had all the different views and opinion of just like regular people. Uh, press couldn't get interviews because regular people were like swarming everything. Well, so yeah, that's because they uh, they closed it off because I think it used to be open to the public and then they shut it down and it's like no, let's make it only for developers and then they brought it back. No, E3 was always I thought it was always um, press only. Mm-mm. Now, I, I mean, I could be wrong. What? Don't quote me, but I think it used to be open to the public. Like if you go back like six or seven years, like oh, okay. uh, it used to be open to the public. And then I think something happened. I, I forget. But then like the next year they were like, yeah, we're closing it off to the public. So that's probably why E3 was so packed, because that year that that, that you're saying where they opened it up, that's when everybody went back to E3, <laughs> you know. But yeah, E3 used to be a thing like that. I mean, that could be that could be wrong, but no. Before that, it was it was press only. So really? uh, okay, yep. Maybe I'm thinking of another to conference then. E3 2017 became open to the public for the first time, with 15,000 general attendance passes to those who wanted to attend. So 15,000 people for like general passes went in there. And that's not that many people when it comes to uh to the press. Like the like the press isn't that high. Mm. And I want to say when that started, that's that was kind of like the downfall because every like press couldn't get to play games the way they could before. So that means that your press had to had to wait in line to play shit. 
Okay. Yeah, and I don't know what conference I'm remembering because I could have swore it was E3, but maybe I'm thinking of like another uh, uh, conference. Maybe Bethesda, I'm thinking of the the Blizzard conference. That's that's maybe. general public. I don't know. They got so <clears throat> many conferences; it's hard to keep track of all that stuff. But yeah, BlizzCon, E3 PAX, E3, GDC, yep. that one in jo- Tokyo Game Show, <laughs> like streaming services at this point. I mean, with E3 going down like that, I don't really see any developer choosing to go to E3. Yeah, especially not after COVID just now. Um, I think the past couple years have shown them it's like we don't need to go to E3. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to do it, then it is what it is. They're not going to do it no more. Unless they change the game or or they change something major where they want to premiere it somewhere and have a whole presentation for it, they don't have to do that. They could just rent out a hall and maybe have a crowd in there or (laughs) digitally put a crowd in there, you know, like Xbox be lying every year when like making people clap that aren't clapping. (laughs) You know, they throw the sound effects in there, but, uh, you know, do something like that and then, you know, just stream it. Let me see if I can send this to you. Okay. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Let's see what people are uh, saying about it down here in the comments. Uh, do you think you're ready? Everyone, yes. <laughs> Anyone else noticed that when the transitions went on, the sound sounded like a theater surround sound? Yeah, that, that's you know, what they call that. The T- THX. <laughs> players rockstar really rockstar shut up you guys bought skyrim like three times it was more than yep. three but okay <laughs> rip, uh, rip to those who bought whose parents bought playstation 4 on christmas <laughs> tells wife honey looks like the router needs an upgrade goes out and buys playstation 5 honey i just bought this sick this slick router it's in the future they say <laughs> Anyway, YouTube, tell us, let us know. How did you like the PlayStation, I mean, the, the Sony reveal for um, PlayStation 5 and all the games? What games are you looking forward to? What games are you may pass on? Would you even buy the PS5 in the first place? Let us know that in the comments yeah. below. I mean, do you hate PlayStation? Are you an Xbox fanboy? You know, are you just going to shit all over the PlayStation when it comes out? Let us know that, too. Let us know why you hate the system. Mm-hmm. I was waiting for you to go ahead. <laughs> oh, hey, I ain't got nothing else to say. Shit, we all right, yo, anyway, yo, peace. Deuces. <laughs> Y'all be safe out there, man. <laughs>